Well, the U.S. says strikes on Iranian-backed groups that have attacked U.S. forces in the Middle East are just beginning. Skylar Henry has more details from the White House. A drone attack on a base in Syria used by U.S. troops killed six Kurdish soldiers. This is the first significant response to U.S. airstrikes on Iranian-backed militias. The U.S. and Britain have struck dozens of targets of Iranian-backed militias in Syria, Iraq and Yemen since a drone attack killed three U.S. service members last week. This is the start of our response and there will be additional actions taken to hold the IRGC and affiliated militias accountable for their attacks on U.S. and coalition forces. President Biden says the U.S. will do whatever it takes to protect American service members in the region. But the strikes threaten to escalate an already tense situation in the region. We, the United States, the Department of Defense, do not seek war with Iran. But if our forces are threatened or attacked, we will take appropriate action. Secretary of State Antony Blinken arrived in the region for the sixth time since October. He's there for talks with partners on finding a ceasefire in the war between Israel and Hamas. Our hope and uh, one of the things that the secretary is continuing to work towards and work on is uh, ending this conflict as soon as we can. Iranian-backed militias have carried out more than 165 attacks on U.S. troops since October 17th. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. And President Biden formally notified Congress today of the attacks over the weekend on Iranian-backed militias.